So we have unrequited love. This could be you who went through this. This could be someone that you're attached to, someone that you have detached from. This could be someone who wants to come towards you, different people that they're attached to, different people that they have detached from. This is masculine and feminine energy, past, present, or near future, so you have to take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Unrequited love. This talks about not, um, there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. So this could be someone that you were in a relationship with. You didn't have attraction or chemistry with this person and it was it was unrequited. It wasn't enough like chemistry or attraction to keep the relationship going. Children is here. Your love life is being affected by children. So you could have a child with this person and the love was unrequited. You didn't have attraction or passion for this person or chemistry with this person. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type in expectations. So this is someone who was a soulmate that was um you were attached to. And um <laughs> this person could have been someone that you literally was not attracted to. And they, you know, this person, um, they were different from people that you, you know, you always expected to end up with or be with. And um, this just is someone that was like, they were like low standard. It is safe for you to love. Open, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So you could be in the energy of where you were, you know, used to dealing with someone that you had a child with or children with and the love was unrequited. You didn't have attraction or passion or chemistry with that person. This was someone that you knew was someone that you didn't um, see yourself like settling down with. Now that you have moved on from this person, it's safe for you to love and open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Yeah, true love is here. So you have true love that's coming in after dealing with this unrequited love. That's why you didn't have attraction or chemistry with that person. You could have been just attached to that person because you had a child or you had children with this person. And it just wasn't enough to keep that person attached to you. You were always having to pay attention to the red flag. Yeah, you were always dealing with some type of financial issues. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, finances and career. So you were always like, you know, taking losses with this person. Yeah. This person could be dealing with some type of financial lapse. After you detach from this person, it's like they're in their own energy. Yeah, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So this is someone that is uh, dealing with some type of trauma from their childhood. And um, it's keeping them in this low vibrational energy where they're not able to manifest financially. And um, they need to heal from whatever it is that they went through you know, with their family or their childhood or something like that. And they were trying to project that onto you and the children or child that you had with that person to keep you stuck. Yeah, reconciliation and playfulness is here. So you're getting ready to reconcile with someone. And this is someone that you're going to be like in a youthful type of, you know, energy where you'll be able to connect with this person on a level, um, on a mature level, but off also like, you know, playfulness. You'll be able to have fun with this person. And this is someone from your past who is returning to your life. So this could be so this could be your true love returning after you went through all of this. Yeah, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. 
So this person wants to give this relationship a chance. Codependency is here. And then religious factor. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So whoever this person is, they could be whoever your true love is. This person could be codependent on to on um, a belief system or something like that. Or they were. And it um, it could have been a religion. And it. Um, this person could be on a spiritual path now. Let me get some more energy. We're going to pull energy on that to see what um, this codependency is. And then chemistry is here. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. We pull one more from this and then we're going to pull from the um, regular tarot card deck. Forgiving and learning. As you, do, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. So, yeah, this person could have been dealing with some type of um, family issues, whoever your true love is. And they're learning to forgive. Yeah, they could have been attached to different people that were very codependent and had them in a codependent energy. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. This, this could have been stuff that your twin or this true love went through. And they're learning to forgive whatever it is and release and heal whatever happened to them in the past. Religious factors are here. So this person could have been attached to a lot of people that were very religious and they didn't know anything about spirituality. Yeah, and these are people that could they could have been codependent on to what these people thought. And they're um, forgiving and learning. It's like this person is releasing and healing the past to be able to experience love in their present moment. Because they needed to forgive their parents or something like that. They needed to heal different family issues before coming in, you know, like reconciling with you or coming towards you. Yeah, you could have had a religious upbringing as well, but then you got spiritually woke. And it's not knocking anyone's belief system. It's just that you're woken, you've woken up spiritually. These are people that are in this, you know, physical realm and um, they don't know too much about spirituality. These are people that just know about the physical, the matrix, you know, the now. They don't know nothing about, you know, beyond that. So eight of wands is here. So this is like going towards something quick. And then ace of pentacles is here. So this is someone that's coming towards you and they want to commit to you. They want to start over with you. And then the hangman is here. And queen of cups. Nine of Cups and then King of Cups. I'm so done. Yeah. Three of Swords is here. So yeah, this person could be depressed. It's like this person could be all over the place. King of Cups, Queen of Cups, the Hangman, Nine of Cups, and then Three of Swords is here. <laughs> This could be this person, whoever this person is, this could be the person that you had unrequited love with. The person that you have a child with, King of Cups and Queen of Cups, these are mother and father figures. And um, the hangman is here. This person is someone that wanted to have you stuck. Yeah, they wanted to, they wanted you to be, um, 
just feeling stuck or something like that. They could have wanted you to be stuck in depression. And they're heartbroken because you're not, you're at the nine of cups happy, wish fulfillment by yourself. Yeah. And you could have a child with this person. Whoever this unrequited love is. Yeah, this person is experiencing judgment. They're going through karma. Because they see you in this nine of cups energy. You're happy, content by yourself, wish fulfillment after you walked away from this person. And they thought that they would have you stuck because you had a child with them or children with this person. And it did not work. This person is going through judgment. I'm so done. <laughs> yeah, you distanced yourself from this person. Six of Swords is here. You were divinely guided to sail away from this person and not look back. This is someone that was very childish. And they didn't have nothing to offer. Yeah, they're at the Five of Cups in regret. This person is ashamed and embarrassed. It's like this person cannot move forward or move on. They feel stuck because they wanted you to be stuck. And they're just stuck in depression. In regret. Whatever this person did to you, they're stuck in that. It's like they're dealing with that karma. They didn't know that they were being judged for whatever they did to you. Yeah, you're attracting a lot of attention and this person is in regret. You're someone that's a leader. You're spiritually woke, in tune. And you're leading your own life. You're someone that's very confident. And you're going after whatever it is you want out of life. You're chasing after whatever it is that you want out of life. Seven of Swords is here. And then Two of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is sitting back trying to strategize how can they balance something out with you. And this situation had them, you know, came to an end. It's dead. It's over. It's done. This person need to move on. Yeah, you put you laid this situation to rest. Four of Swords is here. And that's why everything backfired. Seven of Wands is here. This person can't move on because whatever they did to you and they have to, you know, they have to be stuck dealing with their own karma. Everything backfired. You're someone that's divinely protected. Yeah, that situation has been laid to rest. You isolated yourself and you've healed. Yeah, in the past, Six of Cups is here. These are events that took place in the past. Yeah, you've healed. The star card is here. You've balanced out whatever it is that took place in the past and you, you've healed. You're in this nine of cups energy happy. Wish fulfillment. Yeah, you took your strength back. The strength card is here. You're someone that's very strong. You went through a lot, but you still came out on top. Yeah, this person could not slow you down. Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. They can no longer try to slow you down or distract you. And that's why they're they're sitting back at the Three of Swords, heartbroken, and at the Five of Cups in regret. Page of Cups is here. Wow. <laughs> I'm so done. And then the Fool card is here. Yeah, it's like you went towards a whole nother direction. You're on a you're on a journey. So it's like you went towards a whole nother direction. You're on the path that you're supposed to be on. Yeah. What is this page of cups? And then two of cups. So yeah, this page of cups is you going towards a whole nother direction. This is the person that is your true love. This is the person that is safe for you to love. This is someone who wants to partner up with you. Two of cups is here. This person wants to work with you. This person wants to exchange cups with you. This person has been secretly admiring you as well. Knight of Swords is here. And then <laughs> this is sad. I'm so done. Yeah. And this person is pissed off. Whoever this energy is, they could have found out that you're getting ready to partner up with someone else or you have true love coming in. And this person is pissed. 
They did a whole bunch of stuff quick to try to create conflict. <laughs> Oh man, this is sad. When a person cannot get over something and just move on. It's like you moved on, you've healed. You went towards a whole nother direction, everything backfiring onto this person that they did to you. And they don't just want to accept, you know, to get their karma, accept things for what it is so they can move forward. They rather just sit back and, you know, continue to keep their self stuck, continue to go through blockages. And continue to be in this depression energy and in regret. This person is sad. It's just someone that's like a self-sabotager. They sabotage the relationship. And they wanted to try to sabotage or try to secretly one-up anyone who wanted to come towards you. It's like this person sabotaged their self. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And they thought they would hold on to you. Four of Pentacles is here. I'm done. You started holding back from this person for pentacles being stingy with time, money, and energy. And this person thought they were going to one-up you or they could have secretly been trying to compete with someone or something like that. And they, they, they did this did something too quick. Yeah, nine of pentacles is here. This person could be just pissed off and conflicted because... You're someone that's at the nine of pentacles, very single, self-sufficient, abundant. You're independent. You can stand on your own two feet. And this person know that you're saving yourself for a commitment. That's why this person was trying to hold on to you. But it backfired. You started holding back from this person. Yeah. It's like as you're at the nine of pentacles, this person's at the four of pentacles, very needy and codependent. And this person got mad about something and they tried to secretly one-up you to try to sabotage you. And that's what's backfiring onto this person. Yeah, equal give and take. Six of Pentacles is here. Whatever you do, come back on your tempo, good or bad. Yeah. So it's like whatever this person did to you in the past, they're getting ready to watch you be in a stable commitment for ones this year. Building a stable foundation with someone else. Going into another relationship with someone who is your true love. And this person is stressed out. Yeah, because you were you were loyal to this person. Queen of Pentacles is here. And they thought they had you at the Seven of Cups confused. And everything backfired. Seven of Wands is here. Yeah. <laughs> The lovers is here. So whoever this person is, this, this true love energy, this is someone you have a divine connection with, with the lovers. As I was thinking to myself, who is this true love? Who is this, you know, is it safe for you to love this person? The lovers is here. You have a deep connection with this person spiritually. And this person is getting ready to come towards you physically. After you completed the cycle with whoever this um, unrequited love energy is. This person could also be like codependent to your energy. Yeah, whoever this person is, that's why codependency is here. This is your true love. Queen of Swords is here. Oh, so it's like whoever this person is, they they were dealing with someone that was very codependent and they needed to cut this person off. Queen of Swords is here. So they were attached to someone that was codependent. <laughs> it's like you and this person could have went through similar stuff. You were attached to someone that was very needy and codependent and they were as well. The person that they were attached to could have been dealing with some type of addictions. Whoever you were dealing with, they were dealing with some type of addictions as well. Seven of Cups is here. These are people that could have, you know, did drugs. And they were always being illusions and confusions. Yeah, they weren't able to walk away from a confused mindset. Ace of Wands is here. And then King of Pentacles. That's why this person wants to, um, they want to take action towards you after cutting this person off. You cut off this person that you were attached to. These are people that were very needy, clingy, and codependent and very controlling. Yeah, uh, Queen of Pentacles and then King of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. They want to come towards you. 
This person wants to take action towards you and this person wants to be in a commitment with you. Yeah, justice is here. This is justice being served for you and this person. These could have been karmic cycles that you and this person completed and um, in order to come in union with each other. Ten of Swords is here. As I was thinking, I'm thinking, what is this religious factors? Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So Ten of Swords popped out. This person could have realized that they were betrayed. They could have realized they were under some type of curse and hex after they got spiritually woke. And they felt betrayed. Ten of Swords is here. It's like this person could have been in this illusion and a confusion for a long time and they started getting spiritually woke, cleansing their self, healing their self, different stuff that they went through throughout life, you know, with family, um, a belief system, and they um, they feel betrayed. They, they realized they were under a curse and a hex. Ten of Pentacles is here, yeah. They needed to end something out in order to be able to build their Ten of Pentacles, create generational wealth. They needed to walk away from that confused mindset. Eight of Cups is here. Yeah, this person could feel like their ancestors were betrayed. They were backstabbed. Four of Cups in the reverse. And then Three of Cups is here. And then the Empress is here. So, yeah, this person, they don't want you to reject them, whoever this person is. They want to reconcile with you, reconnect with you, and they do not want you to reject them. They don't want to feel rejected. And then the Empress is here. The Hermit is here. And then Five of Pentacles is here. So this person could have uh, ghosted you or something like that. Or you've been in isolation and solitude away from this person. And they don't want to feel left out in the cold or something like that. I'm so done. This is sad. Two of Wands is here. This is something I'm done. Whoever this person is. That you left out in the cold. This is someone that you have a child with. This person do not want you to feel. This person don't want to be rejected. This person is trying to figure out how can they reconnect with you. After this person was left out in the cold. This is someone that's low vibrational. And they're at a stalemate and they don't know which direction to take. Yeah, Knight of Cups is here. And then the will of fortune. This person is trying to connect with you because they think that they're going to be abundant or something like that. Or they know you're getting ready to connect with this true love. And this person is nervous. They don't know what to do. Yeah. Because they know that this person is coming in. The emperor is here. And this person feel left out in the cold ever since you isolated yourself from this person. They don't know which way to go. It's like this person need to move on with their life. I'm so done. Yeah, the moon card is here. And then eight of pentacles. This person was secretly doing something behind the scenes. Like they were working hard, doing stuff in the dark. They could have been playing with spell work. They thought that you would be at a stalemate and they're at that stalemate. They don't know which direction to take. Yeah, this person feels stuck. This person could have been playing with binding magic or something like that. Whoever this person is that, um, like if your twin ghosted you or this person that's your true love, they ghosted you and, um, they could have been at some type of stalemate or something like that. Or you were, they thought you would be at a stalemate. So somebody was placing magic over this person, whoever your emperor is. This was somebody that, that was um, very low vibrational. And this person was secretly like placing binding magic over this person. They wanted this person to be in isolation away from you. They wanted this person to uh, like leave you out in the cold or 
you know, look at you as someone that's very low and you would be at a stalemate not knowing which direction to take. And it's like if both both you and this person's unrequited love or karmic attachments uh, was placed in spell work over you and this person so y'all wouldn't come in union, they're at the Five of Pentacles and they're at the Two of Wands and they're at the Eight of Swords stuff. They're bonded, blinded, and tied up to a lot of bad karma for whatever spell work they were playing with. Yeah, the death card is here. Wow. Yeah, somebody could have been playing with... Um, somebody found out the truth about this and they, they put an end to this situation. So whoever your twin is or this true love, they found out the truth about this person playing with spell work or binding magic or something like that. Um, they put an end to this situation. This person did this over and over again, nine and once, and they're nervous. This person could have literally like... The, like they were accustomed to having this person confused. And they were doing something like over and over again to have this person at the Eight of Swords. And it's like this person possibly was confused and they never knew. But they ended up finding out the truth, Ace of Swords, and they put an end to that. Now this person is standing at a two of one stalemate and they don't know which direction to take. This person need to move on. Whoever that uh, you were attached to, they need to move on, but they can't because they're stuck at the Eight of Swords, binded, blinded, and tied up for a lot of bad karmic debt that they owe. Ace of Cups is here. And then the Chariot. Yeah, it's like this person is moving on. They're moving forward towards true love. You've moved on. You move forward uh, towards true love. These are people that can't move. They're stuck. They ended up getting caught up if they were doing stuff in a sneaky, deceptive way. Wow. To try to have you and this person stuck. Yeah, they ended up getting exposed. A lot of stuff came to light and a lot of secrets um, were revealed. Everything was illuminated that was done in the dark. I'm so done. Yeah, and they're at the Ten of Wands, burdened, pressured, and weighed down. A lot of stuff in their face that they cannot see and a lot of stuff on their back that they cannot weigh. Because victory is here. Six of Wands is here. You're having victory and success. That person is moving forward towards victory and success. Yeah, the devil in the reverse. These are karmic cycles that you and this person needed to complete. These are people that place spell work over you and this person to try to keep y'all attached to them. And they're experiencing tower moments. They're dealing with an overflow of bad choices because they can't, it can no longer happen. Whatever they were trying to do to confuse you and this person, once you found out the truth, you move forward. Once this person found out the truth, they move forward. So it couldn't happen anymore. These are karmic cycles that needed to be completed. Yeah, King of Swords is here. This is somebody that they did. Yeah, King of Swords and Page of Swords. And then Page of Pentacles is here. Yeah, this person distanced herself and they started doing some type of research. Yeah, they could have distanced themselves when they found out this person was, was watching them or watching you or something like that. Or spying or something. They could have found out this person was somebody that was a stalker. And that's what made them detach from this person. Yeah, it's like somebody came in with some type of new information or they found out some new information about this person that they were attached to. And that's what made them distance themselves from this person. This person was at the Page of Swords as this person was at the King of Swords. They were sitting back observing and this whoever this Page of Swords energy is, they didn't even know that this person was watching them. Yeah, Three of Wands is here. I'm so done. Yeah, this person made a decision to uh, get woke. Wake up spiritually. King of Wands and then Three of Wands. Wow. It's like they found out the truth about spirituality and they felt betrayed. They felt like everything around them was a lie. They, they found out they were under some type of generational curse that needed to be broken. 
in order to have abundance, in order to be able to start something new or have a new beginning. They realized they were in a never ending cycle going through the same thing over and over again and they weren't getting anything out of it. Yeah, this is somebody that was very negative. There was a lot of negativity um, in this relationship. This person caused a lot of negativity. Communication is here. They want to communicate with you. Happiness is here. And then caught up. So they were watching this person and this person did not know. Yeah, they were watching this person cause a lot of negativity. Doing a lot of stuff in a negative way. You're someone that make this person happy or they chose happiness and they want to communicate with you. Good karma is here. Reevaluate is here. So this person started reevaluating this situation. They could have uh, got a tarot card reading and they started using their intuition. Somebody was uh, being very manipulative because they knew this person had hidden emotions yeah, they knew you were this person's equal, equal give and take. This person is seeing things for what it is as they have been standing by, bystanders here. And they were watching this person and they didn't know. Sleepless nights is here. So somebody's experiencing sleepless nights. Yeah, this person has been experiencing sleepless nights. Separation is here. And then jealous friends is here. So yeah, this person could have different friends that are attached to them that are jealous and they wanted to have this person in separation. This person sleepless nights to me is what I'm getting out of this energy is they don't trust people that they're attached to or they're around. This person cannot sleep at night because they're separated from you. Yeah, they're stressing. Everything backfired. Person had jealous family members attached to them. They realized they were learning lessons. Yeah, in order to be successful. Yeah. Powerful ancestors is here. So you and this person have powerful ancestors suffering in silence. Somebody is suffering in silence because this person have gained clarity. Everything backfired and they're stressing. And it was multiple people outside of whoever this person was in a relationship where it was unrequited. And um, they had jealous family, jealous friends. These are people that were not spiritually woke. So they were trying to use religious factors to try to um, judge this person. And this person felt like they went through the ultimate betrayal. Yeah, needy and codependent. And then the leader is here. You're someone that's a leader. And then panicking is here. So somebody is panicking. Somebody that's very needy and codependent, they're panicking because you're someone that's a leader. You lead your own life. Scorpio is here. You could be a Scorpio. One of these people could be a Scorpio. They were only dimming your light. So this person realized these are people that were only dimming their light. They were very needy and codependent and they were trying to control this person. So they want move forward. And this was like the ultimate betrayal. Yeah, these were stalkers, people that were spying and stalking on you. Or stalking you. Yeah, because you're this person's true love. Wow. 